Coming up next on Louisville Tonight Live, it's time to plan your vacation. So how about a trip to Chi-Town? Come along as Roseanne and Lee discover Chicago. Plus, from the stars here in Louisville to the heavenly bodies over in Lexington, a no-holes-barred look at Good Times Derby style. That's all coming up next for you on Louisville Tonight Live. Chi-Chi's yeah! Chi -Chi's knows you love chicken. Okay! So we stuffed it into an enchilada. Okay! Rolled it into a taquito. Olé! And grilled it Tex-Mex style. Chi-Chi's Chicken Trio Olé, just $7.99. And right now, the same low price includes our delicious Sopapillas dessert. What a sweet deal. And now, a 24-hour news update on Kentuckiana's news channel, WHAS 11, sponsored by Opryland USA. Now there's more fun for everyone. Hello, I'm Melissa Swan. Coming up at 11 o'clock here on the news channel, apparently a violent feud is taking place in this city. It may be an attempt to seek revenge, and it has a Louisville neighborhood caught up in the crossfire. We'll have that tonight. Plus, the race for Jefferson County Sheriff is coming down to the wire. A look at the front runners tonight. Tonight on Louisville Tonight Live, where can you find big city fun in your own backyard? This is it, right here in Chicago. The must-dos and must-sees as Roseanne and Lee discover Chicago. Then, news covered it, but Louisville Tonight partied. The last word on Derby 119. Wow, oh, this is better than I ever imagined! Hi, everybody. Welcome to the show. I'm Kirby Adams. And I'm John O'Connor. Derby 119 has come and gone, and as you just said, it was better than you ever imagined. <laughs> <laughs> For my first one, it certainly was. A good time was had by all, and we're, we live to tell about it. At least we're here, anyway. Exactly. Well, Friday night, you and I were sent out to cover the two big derby parties. You stayed here in town. I headed east to Lexington and right into the middle of one of the most spectacular events I have ever attended. <laughs> I am the hostess here at the Coochie Coochie Lounge, and I'm a professional female impersonator. This must be the really wild tent. This is the outrageous one. Well, this is a pretty darn wild party, I have to say. The party where anything could happen. I am kissing her back. And usually does. Hey, hold it. This is a family show. Now, my assignment for Derby Eve is Anita Madden's party. I heard it's kind of a wild party, but wow, this is better than I ever imagined. It's incredible. It's, it's the biggest party in the country. When Anita Madden throws a party, it's an extravaganza. This year, the hostess was doused from head to toe in purple plumes. After all, there's always a theme. It's in search of the king's body, so we will find the king. Those yeah. eyelashes look like they hurt. No, they don't. <laughs> 2,000 of Anita's closest friends showed up in Lexington to search for the Inca king. Are you the Inca king? Stars from ABC's daytime soaps helped look for the king. No, it's not an Inca king. It's just the king. I think they're looking for Elvis. John Corbett, who plays Chris Stevens on the hit Northern Exposure, turned the search into a family affair. He brought along his brothers Chris and Lenny. You're a long way from Sicily. Too far. How did we get here? Yeah. And how can we not go back? Actor Dennis Cole, a guy who's made a career out of attending the Madden Madness. This is my 19th party. Is it really? But this was the year scantily clad bartenders were stationed inside the ladies' restroom, and they were creating quite a commotion. Better than any party she's ever had. It's, now, this is my first year. They keep telling me it gets wilder and wilder each year. No, it can't get wilder. It's just a hell of a party. The search for the Inca King will go down as the greatest Madden party on record, even if we never found him. Well, he's not the Inca King, but he's the king. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, now we heard rumors that Elton John was going to be there after his concert in Lexington, so right. we waited and waited and waited. And waited. 
He never did show up, but uh, the at the time we left, the party was still going strong, and that was probably like 2.30 in the morning. So what time did you actually get home? We actually got home, I think, around 4, which made getting up to cover the derby a little tough. Yeah, I know what you mean. As you discovered, the Madden Affair is, uh, has the reputation for being the party animals party here in Louisville, no however. No kidding. Patricia Barnstable Brown, she corrals a large field of celebrities for the running of her annual Derby Eve fundraiser. And this time around, there were stars even the stars wanted to meet. This was the scene shortly before 8 as the Diamond Derby Gala got underway. At $275 a head, tickets to this event have become almost as difficult to get as one to the Derby itself. The theme this year was New York. But this time, more than any other, Hollywood was in attendance. Ron, Rachel, how do you, what's the first impression of the party so far? Well, we haven't got in there yet. What do you think about fabulous. outside, just as you drove We've up? We've only seen a hotel room in the crowd. We'll have to wait to them. Of those on the roster of entertainment royalty, Rod Stewart caused the biggest stir. Even the other stars wanted at him. This is basically ground zero, right in the middle of the party right here over my shoulders where Rod Stewart, Rachel Hunter, and uh, some of the other people, including Sybil Shepherd, are located. But getting to them is going to be easier said than done. I don't think I'm going to be able to make it. Having a good time, are we? I'm loving it. Despite the crowd's plea, Rod didn't take the stage. John Goodman, however, wouldn't get off. You guys have a reputation, of course, of uh, being able to have a good time. Does this look like it's going to be conducive to some fun tonight? Well, I think um, the good time part of it is already happening. Are you a partier? I know uh, in the past your husband has had a reputation of being one. Is he hard to keep up with? At a party like this, I guess you can't really move around too much. No, we can't really move around at all. <laughs> Are you having fun, though? Yeah, it's great. It really is. Thank you. Is this for Louisville? Yes, sir, it is. And Hi, Louisville. And so, another edition of Louisville Meets Hollywood continued into the night. And long before evening's end, the party was getting rave reviews. So far, how's the party been in your estimation? It's been the greatest ever. I never imagined. I knew it was there, and it happened. Yes, indeed, it did happen. We only stayed until about one or so before I called it quits and we went on home. Not quite as late as your evening. And you didn't have to drive all the way back from Lexington either. Yeah, I could just go home. Here. You know, it looks so crowded. How did you get to those stars? Uh, at one point in time, the police had actually surrounded Rod Stewart's Seriously? table. Rod Stewart, Sybil Shepherd, and Ron Wood were there, and they just weren't letting people at them. As it calmed down a little bit later on, I actually asked one of the police officers, who was a real nice guy, mm -hmm. tap Rachel on the store, just hand her this microphone and ask her if she'll let me talk to her briefly. And she was nice enough to agree. Yeah. I, there was a policeman over her shoulder, so... I kind of snuck in and out real quick. Yeah, she seemed awfully nice. It was a wild and woolly affair. What Good a great time. time. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. Well, we'll take a break. Be back after this. Transportation provided by Budget Rent-A-Car, featuring quality Chrysler products with airbag safety. For money-saving rates and unlimited free mileage, make your springtime travel plans with Budget. About this Lotto Cash game. Okay, look, Lotto Cash is real simple. You see, unlike other state lotteries that take up to 20 years to pay their winners, you know, a little the first year, a little the second year, a little the third year, and so on. With Lotto Cash, if you're a winner, you get your million bucks all at once. Lotto Cash. All cash, all at once. Got it? I'm afraid so. All at once. Hey, Louisville, get the old-fashioned flavor of pizzeria-style pizza from Pizza Hut. It's the kind of homemade pizza you love to slice into with mom and pop. New hand-stretched dough baked into a big, crispy, foldable crust. Piled high with 100% whole milk mozzarella, a new tomato sauce, and any topping you want. This large pizzeria-style is all yours for just $7.99. Pop, what do you say? I honestly had goosebumps. Pizza Hut delivers a $7.99 pizzeria-style free in Louisville and surrounding areas. Hi, Charlie. Uh, you, uh, you startled me. What you cooking? Uh, nothing. Hey, those look like Johnsonville brats. No. Come on, I know a Johnsonville brat when I see oh, one. They're not Johnsonville. I... They are Johnsonville brats. I love them. Could you come back tomorrow, please? Oh, please don't do that. Charlie Murphy's cooking Johnsonville brats! Johnsonville brats! Folks can't resist the simply great taste of Johnsonville brats. It was the other person's fault. 
Don't worry, you're going to be fine. We're going to move you now. But she's the one who got seriously injured. Now, she may be pressured to settle financially for less than she deserves. She'll need an experienced lawyer to make sure she gets everything she's got coming from the other person's insurance company. If you're the victim of an accident, call the law offices of Sidney Hannish, attorney. The first appointment is free, and we don't get paid unless you do. We'll fight to get a fair insurance settlement for your injuries. Call now. WHAS will cut through and let me know what's going on. They'll break in one of their TV programs to give me something about the weather. I like the idea of the storm team, and I can count on them for get, giving me the information that I need. I like Saturday morning broadcasts because I can, I can tune into it any time. I like the live coverage. Definitely think of WHAS. That is the Kentuckiana News Channel. It is about time to be putting together plans for that vacation that you wanted to take this summer. And if you're still looking for a vacation destination... Well, have we found the perfect place for you. And the good news is it's within driving distance, just five and a half hours away. And we'll take you there all week, beginning tonight, as Roseanne and Lee discover Chicago. Chicago, Chicago, that title in town. Chicago is the third largest city in the United States. It's been called everything from the Windy City to the Second City. But no matter what you call it, it's a city filled with excitement. You're probably familiar with Chicago's landmark Sears Tower, but the city is also known for its cultural institutions and its wide variety of unique attractions. North Michigan Avenue runs through the middle of downtown Chicago. It's better known as the Magnificent Mile, featuring hundreds of specialty shops and department stores. Chicago ranks as one of the nation's finest restaurant towns. Here you'll find 50-style diners, ethnic bistros, and of course, Chicago's popular pizzerias. If you come to Chicago, you have to visit the Sears Tower. It has 4.5 million square feet of space, and it's the tallest building in the world. During the day, the view from the Sears Tower sky deck is absolutely breathtaking. And on a really clear day, it's been said that you can see portions of four states. Now, if you're a baseball fan, you can catch a game at Chicago's famous Wrigley Field. Five boys! Five boys! Five boys! Wait a minute. I like baseball, too. Now, how can I get from the heart of downtown in the Sears Tower way north to Roseanne at Wrigley Field? Taxis are affordable for getting around Chicago in short trips, but that's about it. If you need to go across town, your best bet is on a bus. Fares are cheap, usually no more than $1.25, and while you're riding around, you get a chance to see all the city sights. Wrigley Field is home of the Chicago Cubs. This season they have 81 home games. Tickets range in price from $8 to $17. And by the way, a hot dog is $1.75. If you've never seen the fascinating creatures of the sea, Chicago offers the Shedd Aquarium. It's the largest indoor marine mammal pavilion in the world, with over 6,000 aquatic animals. Downtown boasts some of Chicago's most cultural tourist attractions, like the Art Institute. Downtown has so many popular sites that the majority of people who come here want to stay in the center of the city. Chicago does offer moderate priced accommodations in town. A single room costs anywhere from $75 to $250, depending on how luxurious the hotel is. However, if that's not in your budget, the more inexpensive hotels and motels tend to be on the city's outskirts. <laughs> Chicago comes alive at night with a little something for everyone. From loads of laughs at Second City, the top comedy club in Chicago, to the techno sounds of the shelter, the city's hottest dance club. So if you're looking for a vacation getaway that's within driving distance, has affordable accommodations, and offers enough attractions to keep everyone entertained, we highly recommend Chicago. Well, if you'd like to know more about the places we featured in our Discover Chicago series, we've created a special flyer with all the facts and figures. Yes, indeed. To get your hands on our uh, Discover Chicago flyer, all you have to do is send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 
Discover Chicago, care of Louisville Tonight Live, Post Office Box 1100, Louisville, Kentucky, 40201. And we'll get that in the mail to you just as soon as possible so that you can discover Chicago on your own. And tomorrow, Discover Chicago continues. Kentuckiana's malls are great, but they can't touch the Chicago shopping experience. Looking for a particular shade of stocking? We found a store that stocks over 130 shades. And another boutique that offers Donna Karen, Armani, and Escada for prices you can actually touch. And for you sports fans... Nike Town is just a fun environment. Four floors of everything to help you. Just do it! So join Roseanne and Lee on the Magnificent Mile as Discover Chicago continues tomorrow. Announcing Weight Watchers free trial offer. Weight Watchers is not a diet. It's a way of life. So this is a picture of me before oh, I joined. Great. This is you? Yeah. This is great. Come to a free trial meeting at the new Weight Watchers. Pay just $10 only if you join. Call 800-333-3000. If I can do it, you can do it. Tom Raper, Midwest's largest, in business 29 years. But who's counting? Thousands of satisfied customers are counting. They're counting on Tom Raper for huge discounts on new and used motorhomes, travel trailers, fifth wheels, tent campers, truck campers, cargo trailers, truck caps, mobile wrench, and two-story homes. You can count on Tom Raper for your best deal. I-70, exit 149A, Richmond, Indiana. Open till 9, close Sunday. 29th anniversary sale. Take the day, Tom Raper's way. Dave is taking the country by surprise. God bless America! The first surefire summer comedy sensation. Okay, let's get back to work. Whoa! Kevin Klein is sensational. Ever since the stroke, I killed him. A wonderful, funny, feel-good movie. Think fun. Think hit. Think Dave. I once caught a fish. This big. Dave, an Ivan Reitman film. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, May 7th. was once simply a way to get around is now a way to get around rising health care costs. At Blue Cross and Blue Shield, we encourage everyone to walk or get some form of exercise for your health because we think it's a step in the right direction. People living with pain keep thanking me. Thanks, Joe. For telling them about Flexol 454, the mm. aloe vera-based pain-relieving gel recommended by the athletic trainers of all major pro sports. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Flexol, America's number one pain-relieving gel. Number one in helping people feel better, live better, work better. If you're living with pain, get better. Get Flexol, the pain relief pro trainers recommend. As in previous years, Derby 119 caused Louisville's population to swell by hundreds of thousands of people. And as our Jay McClue found out this weekend, they weren't all spectators. Some were here to do a job. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. With spring finery and festive moods, it's a typical Derby day here at the Downs. But upstairs and in strategic points around the Downs, it's just another working day. Well, okay for the Derby press, it's not quite any other day. Trust me, on most reporting assignments, there's no free food. Ham and Swiss on uh, wheat. Soup and sandwiches are fine, but this is a racetrack. What if these working folks want to place a few wagers? Triple's got you covered there, too. The press floor has its own exclusive betting windows. Okay, there are some negatives to covering such a mammoth event. For one thing, it's crowded, and I'm not just talking about spectators. I like to be at ones where I'm the only reporter. And I keep hoping that will happen some year at the Derby, but so far it hasn't even come close. So you're not going to get many exclusives when there's 4,000 reporters, you know, 200 reporters per horse. All the same, even those following the events that go along with the race, like the Maker's Mark Party, there's something special about covering the Derby. It's one of those American events, like the Super Bowl, like the World Series, like the NBA Finals, like the Indy 500. The press gets its own party, too. Artist Leroy Neiman covers the Derby in his own way. He paints it. Neiman makes no excuses for embellishing on the event. 
The horse will have more than the blaze that he has. It'll be more than the colors of the jockey. I can't exactly say what it is. It'll be the spirit. It's the spirit of the occasion. This spirit of the Churchill Derby press party was food, folks, and a sports rider's brand of fun. Larry Guest jokingly compares reporting on horse racing to another sport. This is a lot like covering baseball because the athletes are temperamental and they don't speak to the media. So. All the same, no one forgets what they're here for and what they get out of it. It's like homecoming at your college. You go to Churchill Downs once a year, you see people you may see only once a year. You relive old memories and, and make new memories. Well, journalists generally aren't able to agree, agree on anything as a group. Jane says there was a consensus among the Derby media she interviewed. They all agree that they are treated very, very well when they come to Louisville. Well, whether you're a journalist or not, there's one thing everyone involved with the Derby festivities will agree on that the infield at Churchill Downs on Derby Day is about as wide open as it gets when it comes to an outdoor party. Pulling infield duty for us on Saturday were reporters Lee Thomas and Roseanne Rogers who attempted to see if they could find out what was fueling the fury. Do we want to get right? We stopped people to try to locate any kind of alcoholic beverages. Like, you no. No. little cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. You always drink cranberry juice on a regular basis, I'm sure, right? What percentage would you say people trying to get stuff through here? Uh, 100 <laughs> percent. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> All right, we got it. It's a travesty. They took my turn. Where's it at? The trash, right here. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Saving this first. Here we go. Yeah. You want a little skin today? Yep. Takes skin to win. <laughs> this is where I snuck in a fifth of Bacardi for my friend Cindy. Mom, I didn't drink it. You're not supposed to bring these in here, are you? You gotta take the insulation out of the cooler and you know, put it in there like that and then. I wonder where Roseanne is. Ah! Hey, who's your name? Her name's Eileen. <laughs> Gumby rule. Gumby rule. Jacob's on okay? I wonder where Lee is. Who cares? Lee? Lee is this high. Like flex for me? Woo! There 